and welcome to an unmuted episode of Lex Education, the comedy science podcast where we record the audio rather than muting the microphone and hoping everything is good. I'm your host, Laura Lex, host slash pupil, I suppose. I'm not really the host. No, that's new, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's new. I'm a bit flustered. It's been a really stressful weekend. And uh, I'm here in the studio today with our resident... Other host. Other host slash brother slash normal man, Ron. Ew, it's me, Ron. Hey, Ron, Ron. Hello. I do Ron, 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 do do Ron, Ron. Mm. Hey, we're louder when we're recording than we are in the uh, microphone test. That's good. That's fun to know, isn't yeah. it? I've had to turn the game down a little bit. Why are we? Um, how are you, Ron? I'm having the same stressful weekend as you. <laughs> same room episode. We're here in our parents' kitchen with the dulcet tones of Antiques Roadshow floating in from the living room. That's a blast from the past. Oh, the house you, reeking man. of gravy. Yeah. The, the, the sound of Antiques Roadshow. Fiona Bruce's haggish <laughs> face looming over some lawns telling me it's time to go to bed soon. <laughs> Fuck Fiona Bruce, man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think she was the host, like, in my childhood. No, you had that old pleasant man who wore the pinstripe suits. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember, though. I'd do anything to not be in the room while Antiques Roadshow mm, was on. Yeah. Uh, if you hear howling in the background, that's Child of the Podcast, who has just refused to sleep for about 48 hours now. Yeah, she's having the same stressful weekend we she are. She is, but she's a lot of the stress, so... Mm. She's good crack, though. She is. She's fun. So, Ron, we went to a Christmas... No, let's save that for the recording we're doing in yeah. a minute. You'll never know what we went to today. We went to a crisp factory. Mmm. Gary Lineker was crisps. there. They don't make crisps. It was just very brittle. <laughs> it's good. It's good for me. Um, uh, the notes, let's say. Right. So, this episode... Um, I just want to say sorry about my microphone in the quiz. It's crackly here and there. I don't know why this microphone keeps doing that. I think it's the lead. I don't really know. Yeah. Shouldn't be doing it today, though. That's good. That's good. And didn't do it in the main bulk of the episode. It's just in the quiz. Yeah. But drives me bonkers when I listen back to it. I didn't care or mind. Ah, well, well done, Ron. Um, I mean, it's a it's a balmy start to the episode, this one. A real end-of-term vibe. Yeah. But it's got strong Lex education. It's very pleasant. Yeah, I loved this episode. I yeah. had a really good time with it. A good one. We're in a spate of good episodes at the moment. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? You make me want to peel my own eyelashes <laughs> off my face. I... But I'm saying it's good. You said that for like the last five episodes. Yes, that's the spate. We just make a good podcast, Ron. Not always. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Do you know where we do make a good podcast all the time? Over on the Patreon. Hey, Ron, we do. We're about to record a Patreon episode. Yep. It's gonna be. It's gonna be very good. We're recording with Agony Dad this week. Just delivered Agony Dad his very own microphone for more future stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, if you want to send in any Ask Agony Dad, get some help with your problems, send them in now, guys, and we'll get them answered while we're here, because we're going to be doing some recording with the old goat. Mm-hmm. Uh, right, I guess we'll let you listen to the episode. What are we doing? We're doing alkanes. Cracking of alkanes yeah, and I mean, a cracking the microphone. Hey. That's not nothing. Nog nog. It's not nothing. Don't say that. What? Why are you saying so many things that sound like slurs in this episode? The old nog nog noggin, that's your head. Oh, you are on the lookout for them. It's a different word, mate. Anyway, um, there you go. Did you want to discuss Nathan for you now? I see you've just put that in the summary like I need to put that in. No, we discuss it in the episode. That's part of the summary. We watched it this weekend. Yeah, you liked it, I think. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I we should it. watch it when other people aren't around. Yeah, Dad did not get it. No. <laughs> <laughs> the, the fucking security guard. <laughs> it was good. Watch Nathan for you, but not until you've listened to this lesson. Okay. Next education for you. Hey. What is it about? I assume not that. Serenity Ball. 
75. 59, 5th of December. 88, 8th of the tonight. That's a different song, though, isn't it? Those are two is different it? songs. That is Prettiest Eyes by The Beautiful South and 74, 75 yeah. by The Connells. And you're mixing them up because mum and dad used to have um, a variety cassette that had them both on it. Oh, was the variety cassette that now that's what I call numbers? But what's that's... Prettiest Eyes got to say? 59, 5th of September. 69, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, um, are we re- should we record? We are, are we ready? recording. Oh, that's an incongruous <laughs> start to it. Yeah, I mean, we missed the beginning of the the chat. Um, 74, 75. I don't how know does what that, that song song's go? about. Um, how does that song go? Give me more and I'll define Cos you're really only after 74, 75. 75. No, no, no. I was the one who let you know I was your sorry, so sorry ever, ever after. after I don't know what that song's about Sa- Is sadness. that the same tape that had um... In the Wah Wah Woo by Paul Weller? Yes And no, it's think... got to be And um, my Crash name Test is Dummies Luca. I live on the second floor I live upstairs from you Anyway, yeah. I, for a long time, I think not because of that, because this was on a different CD, but I really thought that the Moulin Rouge cover of Roxanne was by the Crash Test Dummies <laughs> because it's also like a deep, scary yeah, voice. Yeah, I can see that. Roxanne! Do, do, do. What a great sequence You that is. don't have to go to school because of the crash. <laughs> um, it's not that, Ron. Your hair has gone all white. <laughs> yeah. Good times for music. Yeah. Good bloody times. What a mum and dad. Um, they used to have a lot right. of CDs that had come free with the Daily Mail. Still do. <laughs> yeah. She loves it. She loves it. It's episode right. 75, Ron. Bloody 75 hell. 75 blooming episodes. Who, who'd have thunk who'd it? Who'd have listened to episode one and thought we'd made two, eh? <laughs> but here we are, 75. 74. <laughs> 75. Right, do you remember what we were doing last time on chemistry? No, I don't. Do you remember what we've been doing recently on chemistry? No. Okay. Um, <laughs> Hydrocarbons, Mike alkanes. Connell says it is pretty much just another failed relationship song that took influence from older bands such as The Birds and Big Star to more contemporary artists including Echo and the Bunnymen, R.E.M., The Replacements and Teenage Fan Club. Fair enough. Yeah. So there you go. That's what it's about, just a busted up relationship. Maybe they were together in the years 74 to 75 or something. Where's that song from? Early 90s, apparently. He started writing it in 1991. Wow. Um, so, yeah, we were doing Alkanes. What was that song that was like... something about Canada? 
Oh, how did that song go? Oh, it's tickling right around the edges of my brain and I can't remember it. Hmm, it was a place name. Somewhere cold. Winnipeg? <laughs> yeah, that was it, yeah. Winnipeg, Winnipeg. <laughs> Why is your Alberta, pencil? Alberta? Alberta, Alberta. Alberta. You've been you so loud. So Alberta, Alberta. <laughs> Where you been so long And had no loving mm -hmm. Since you've been gone God, what was it called? Oh, that is driving me nuts. This is like a sneeze that you can't Northwest do. Northwest Territory? I don't know what to Google. No, what was it? How did it go? It was something like... Sad here... <laughs> Don't want to be, might as well be in. This could be Rotterdam. No, it wasn't that Might one. as well be. Oh, no, now it's on the tip of my brain. It might as well be. Stuck inside a mobile with the Memphis Blues again? Mm, don't think so. Uh, I think it begins with A. Oh, God, this song is just... <sighs> hmm. Google's coming up with This Must Be The Place by Talking Heads, which it's not. That is a great song, though. I'm going to message the siblings and ask. You talk about arcanes. <laughs> um, no, because we were trying... We haven't yet recapped... Oh, have we no, not? No, because you, you oh, never, done that no, you never engaged with me while I was trying to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a guy who works down the chip shop, swears he's Elvis. Just like you swore to me that you'd be true. There's a guy. We're going to have to try and stop thinking about it, Ron. Mm, but my brain's <laughs> itchy. The episode. Yeah, m mine too. Uh, it's like something about Alaska. Or... Oh. Uh, right, I'm going to just pause the recording because we're nine minutes <laughs> in. No, it's not come yet, Ron. No. Oh, God, this might be the most frustrated I've ever been in my life. I feel sick. <laughs> How can we think about alkanes when this song is hanging over us? Right. We're, we're, luckily, we're not doing alkanes today. How am I going to live the rest of my life? The sisters will know. Okay. Yeah, older sister will know. Yeah. Uh, we should ask them if we can just use their names. <laughs> it's really complicated trying to remember not to say them. Uh, I quite like having all these different people around. Uh, oh, I don't mind most of them, and I'd never say, like, nephews and child. Yeah, not and stuff, Bill and but... George. No, not crod hype and monglong. Don't say monglong, that sounds bad, doesn't it? <laughs> it does sound bad, but it isn't. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's start making up new <laughs> slurs. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> What's that slur, is it? Oh. Um, right, okay, so we're, so we're doing Alcane's previously, Laura. Albuquerque. No, it's not Albuquerque. Yes, we were doing Alcanes previously. Um, give me a brief rundown of Alcanes. Ah, uh, Ron, you know I can't. Especially not now. My eye twitch is back. Ugh. It's like that muscle knows what the song is. It's going, pick me, put me in, coach. Let me tell you. I'll tell you, I'm awesome. Pick me. <laughs> it's a happy turkey day. <laughs> Song problems will go away. Alkanes are hydrated carbon carbons. <laughs> Fucking hell, you might be a monglong. <laughs> They're hydrated carbons and they um, come in different lengths and sometimes they go around corners and depending on how long the chain is, is a different thing. 
Yeah, they have different names because they're different molecules if they're different lengths. And do you remember we talked about the difference between saturated and unsaturated yeah. ones? Would run me through that. Some of them have all of their bonds full of hydrogens and some of them have to have double bonds with other carbons. Yes. In order to be bond bond. Because all carbons have to make four bonds. Now, Laura, the different lengths of alkane, are they all the same or are they different? They're all different. Okay. Give me the trends. Flares. Suede. <laughs> Neutral We're ten minutes tones. in, Laura. We've got to... <laughs> <laughs> Got a crack on. Remember when Aztec patterns were big? Yeah. Uh, uh, in Norway, it was very neutral palette in all the shops at the moment. It's all very pastels for the winter this year. Um, That's nice, though. Sometimes if you're, like, watching Come Dine With Me and then you see these very naughties, like, really bright feature walls and stuff, it's quite yeah. intense. So as as the alkanes get longer, Laura, what happens? They get heavier. Yep. Keep going. Less flammable. Yep. So what's 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 the the lightest one? Gas. Yep. Which which gas? Okay. Me, me, me. Propane. Me. 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 Ron. Methane. Me, 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 methane. No, not propane. Methane, ethane, propane, butane, pentane. I don't have to know what order they go in. But it's quite line. easy to know that. And you should know methane, that. Methane, bethane, pethane, skethane. Methane, ethane, <laughs> propane, butane, pentane, hexane, heptane, octane, octane. nonane, decane. Nonane is a dumbass name. Mm. Nonane. Grow up. Name some of the different uses of these things. Why? We've done this. Yeah, this is a new episode. But again, Laura, <laughs> I must I must remind you that we're building on previous knowledge and I cannot rely on you to have remembered this from last time. Uh, what did you ask? Like, talk me through some of the uses as they get bigger. Yeah, lubricants. As they get bigger. So they start off as gas, which is used for? Flammables. Yep, and then liquids, which are put in cars and stuff. Yeah, like petrol and diesel. But you said that they were gases when they were used. Everything's a gas when it burns. Why is that what you've held on to? Why? (laughs) Uh, I just... It's vaporised before it's burnt, yes. Okay, you're being rude. <laughs> really? No. I can't believe you're mad at me for remembering something. I really cross that's what you remembered. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like watching QI and only remembering the klaxons. <laughs> when Alan Davis dies, you'd be a good replacement for him on there. Well, they could just put me on it bloody now, actually, if they were reasonable people but only one woman is allowed on qi at a time and sandy toxvig's in every episode now so yeah it's really unfair some of the regulars they have on there and i'm sorry for saying this but some of the regulars they have are duds i agree Ron. they could get better yeah they could be me god damn it um Google songs about places beginning with A. See if it begins with A. Who's... what? i got to remember what this song is, Ron. Otherwise I'm going to die. Songs about places beginning with A. Um... No, this can't be the episode. They're, li- they're, they're lubricants yeah. as well when they get heavier. Now, which ones of these do you think we use the most of as a society? A flammable petrol, diesel, energy sources. Which are the s- mm. smaller Smallest ones. Smallest ones. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, 
we have a process to break down the big ones into smaller ones. Fractional distillation. No. no. That's how you separate them. Not That's how you... how you separate them. So this is called cracking. Cracking. Cracking alkanes, yeah. Cracking alkanes. Two different ways we can crack an alkane. Mm-hmm. Catalytic cracking. Catalytic cracking. And steam Cat- cracking. Catalytic cracking. And steam cracking. Release the cracking. Yeah. All right. Which one do you want to do first? Uh, steam cracking. So this is very, very simple. You heat up the alkane to a very high temperature, over 850 degrees C. Heat the alkane. Yep. 850 degrees C. You have to get it. Hell, Harry. Why do you have to get it so hot? Give it lots of energy to to break the bonds. To turn the hydrocarbon into a gas, and then you mix it with steam. Stir it up. Stir it up. It also has to be done. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Under pressure. I haven't finished. (laughs) Turn the hydrocarbons into a gas. Okay. And then mix it with steam. Let's add another colour. A mix, a mix, a mix with steam. And do it David Bowie style. Under pressure, yeah. Did you like it? It was good, it was good. You sounded like that um that song that went viral recently about sitting down. I don't know what that was from. Did you not see that? No. Sitting, sitting is the opposite of standing. Sitting is the opposite of running around. Sitting (laughs) is a marvellous thing to do. It was a nice song. Yeah. Um, So that's, that's steam cracking. Hot steam. Pressure. Yes. Okay. Yes. Cata- Hot steam pressure. Catalytic cracking uses aluminium oxide as a catalyst. Ooh. Again, hydrocarbons turned into a gas, and then they put it over a hot powdered aluminium oxide at a temperature of about 550 degrees C. Much cooler. Yes. Oh no, the pastel orange gel pen is having a little strop. Silly boy. Silly boy, do your writing. Silly, silly, silly boy, please do your writing. Fa la 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 la. Well, I'm getting very excited about Christmas coming up. Mm, me too. I've put my advent calendar on my bedside table ready. Wow. the most devastatingly luxurious thing I've ever bought myself, that advent calendar. I don't believe that. You like to lavish yourself with gifts. Do you know how much I spent on my advent calendar? £35. More. Jesus Christ, Laura. How (laughs) much did you spend on this advent calendar? £260. Fuck off, Laura. (laughs) Laura, you have to cut this out of the podcast. The fans can't know that. There'll be walkouts. What is in it i I hope there's money in it what the (laughs) fuck man i wanted it and i love it what's special about it it's from harrods laura no (laughs) you can't do that man why that's insane that's one what's we're not gonna survive to pensionhood i might as well have nice things now that's insane yeah but I'm so happy, Ron. <laughs> Does Tom know this? Yeah, he said, well done, baby. I'm proud of you. You should treat yourself. You work hard. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. Ask him. Uh, Tom loves it when I spend money. I'm so naturally frugal. Only because that like, justifies spend him spending money. money. I'm going to get him a beer advent calendar. Wow. <laughs> 
I'm going to have so many face creams run. It's full of face cream? <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> God, I thought I wasted my money. <laughs> yeah, you spend yours on beer and music, and I spend mine on face creams. Seasonal face cream. <laughs> I love it. You wake up every day and there's a present for you for a month. Weird, eh? It's great. Um. So, there's slightly different products to these two ways of cracking. Okay? Yep. Oh, there's so much other fun stuff to talk about today. Yeah. I'm tired. You look tired. I am tired. You're going to go back to work after this? No, no, there's nothing I can really do to help, to be honest. It's just going to make me it's upset. It's just got to finish burning down. You shouldn't have become a fireman if you didn't want to put fires out, Ron. Mm. What are you going to do tonight, Ron? I'm going uh, mini golfing. You're going to mini golf? Yeah. I can't believe you're wasting your money on mini golf. Yeah, yeah, it's 350 quid for the evening. <laughs> I have to go Sorry, there every day. Sorry, but I day. get a present every day. That's pretty good value, mate. This is fucking insane, Laura. <laughs> <You know. laughs> I told you it's the most luxuriously decadent thing I've ever done. Yeah, I believe you now. Uh, yeah, it's a wild decision to make just after you've had a child. I might not be in my right mind. Um, Are you alright? You just looked at your phone and now you look even sadder than before. No, no, that was just about... That was actually about the stag do. Um, oh. No, someone just messaged and was like, uh, one of the people coming doesn't drink. Should we not go to a brewery as part of the activities because we should do something more inclusive? But I need to message back. With li- literally, so much of this is about drinking. It's a stag do. Yeah. That, um, I, I'm not sure. I, I, they'd probably in enjoy that bit more than a lot of the other activities that we've got planned. <laughs> Ron, you're not being very inclusive. Uh, no. 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 That's okay then, as long as you know. Yeah. What if we don't remember what the song is and then there's no closure to the episode? Um, yeah, because our siblings are annoying, uh, avoiding us. I think the older sibling actually keeps um, that group on mute. I wouldn't be surprised. She's very unsociable. Yeah. She doesn't have that clawing need that we have. Why do you look so confused again? You think you've because, had a song? Because, you know, when you're using your m- Mac... And it knows if you've got, like, Chrome open on your phone, it comes up on the bottom and says Chrome's open, but it's on your phone. No. Oh, well, it does. And that just happened, even though my phone was just in my pocket being well-behaved. And Child of the Podcast is up to something on the iPod I charged for her this morning. Oh, she's got an iPod. I found it in my drawer, and I've charged it so that she can listen to music. Cute. Anyway. Yeah, so there's there's different products to those two methods of cracking. Um, but mm-hmm. they, they fall... Oh, yeah, cracking. They fall into the same uh, sort of pattern, though. So could you, Laura, um, draw on your paper an alkane? Let's say it's eight, eight carbons long. Mm. One, two, three, four, five... Six. Anchor down in Anchorage. Oh, Anchorage. That's the song. How did you think of that? I don't know. It just popped up. It just floated to the top suddenly. Anchor down in Anchorage. Oh, Anchorage. By Michelle Shocked. Mich- oh, Shell Shocked. Get fucked. <laughs> That's the song. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, Anchorage, anchor down in Anchorage. Ugh, beautiful. I can't find this song online. Anchor down in Anchorage? Yeah. Um, I think it's called Anchorage. Yeah. 
Oh, it's on Spotify. There we go. Alkanage! Anchor down in Alkanage! That's nothing. Huh. <laughs> Not good. Alkane down in Anchorage! That's better. Okay, thank you. Um, I've drawn it, by the way, Ron. It is That is drawn. All right. Now, split it. Split it in half. Split it in half? Yeah, as if we were cracking it. One, two, three, four. Okay, uh, I'm going to get a big red line. Yeah, I've drawn a crack down the middle. Damn it, somebody's just said on the Discord that they agree with you. So Halloween episode one went out today and the Discord are now saying that they agree with you that it's weird that I only care about the truth behind the myth and not the myth itself. Yeah, they had to side with me once in 75 episodes. Well, you needed to be right once in 75 episodes. Oh boy, guess who's in Anchorage now, bitch? Wow. Okay, I've cracked my alkane. Okay, um, what have you made? Two new alkanes. But are those correct? No, because the last carbon on the end now doesn't have a bond. Exactly. So what happens is one of them forms what's called an alkene, um, which is where the carbon... More eager to do the work well yes um they what it forms a a a double bond the two carbons form a double bond together so draw that out please what two of the carbons draw form a double bond with each other oh i understand so um, h c c c c my playmate I cannot play with you. My sister's got the flu. Chicken pox and measles too. Okay, done it. Cool. So, um, you see how one... Uh, and have you, you've you moved one of the hydrogens over to the other one so it's a completed alkane? So you get one alkane and one alkene. Hmm? You should have one alkane... And one alkene. Why wouldn't they both be the same? Because then you've lost a hydrogen. Well, how? Because that's just numbers. Hmm? Why wouldn't I just have nine hydrogens on each side? I can't see what you've drawn. Well, that's the problem with you not living in Brighton. Move it down and to the right. Well, because you done it in an orange pen that you can't see. You've got a hyd- You've got a carbon there with five bonds coming out of it. Oh yeah, Ron. So one of those hydrogens goes over to the other side, to the alkane. Oh, so one of the carbons in the middle doesn't have a hydrogen anymore. It would have one hydrogen. Yeah, but now it's a funny-looking little beastie, isn't it? <clears throat> I understand you now, Ron. I didn't notice that. I'm sorry. A dereliction of duty on my part won't happen again. That's okay. You've been surprisingly It'll lucid this episode. It'll almost constantly! What's that? I had Rocky Road after the swimming at the swimming pool and um, it was full of marshmallows. Um, no, you've been very lucid this episode, so I forgive you that one. Let me elucidate you for a while. Alkene. Abraham de Lacey. I'm so happy I've remembered that song. God. What? Which one of those? Um, actually, so, um, like I was saying, the, 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 the products of the cracking are, are different for each one, okay? Okay. So, uh, catalytic cracking, um, that will make hydrocarbons from C5 to C8 pentane to octane okay uh huh these are good fuels okay good fuels that's mainly what it makes um 
the steam cracking will make the smaller hydrocarbons like the smaller alkanes but then it will also make lots of small alkenes okay those are used to make make polymers hang on 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 lots of small alkenes with the steam how are you spelling alkene with a k or a c with a k like alkane well if it's spelling alkane with a c oh don't do that that's wrong Okay. Maybe I didn't do it on other pages, though. Alkane is A-L-K-A-N-E. Alkene is A-L-K-E-N-E. This isn't going to make you happy, Ron. But I've never written it down before. (laughs) Oh, no, I have. I've always spelt it with a C. Okay. Um... Smaller alkanes and lots of al- lots of small alkenes. Yes, the small alkenes are Professor used to make... Professor Alkenebean. Do you remember him? No. That... Professor Keenbean? He's Professor Keenbean. From Richie Rich? He was the inventor in Richie Rich. Oh. His name's Keenbean. Yeah. Professor Keenbean. Wow. Um, those are used, to... Those are used to make polymers. Voila! Suck in the cheeks! Uh, polymers. They make polymers. Yeah. Do you remember what a polymer is? Polymer. Um. What's happening? I've turned around on my chair like a cool guy in a diner. It's very noisy. Shut up. <laughs> um, a polymer is a plastic. Plastic is a polymer often, yeah. Plastic is a polymer often. A polymer... It's loud is... when I sit like this, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, hang on. Polymers and monomers. A polymer and a monomer. That was a thing, wasn't it? I'm going to have to sit back round the other way. Yeah, can you just pretend that we're making an audio product that people can't listen to you clattering about? Polymers are like big monomers aren't they? Multiple... They're chains of things, aren't they? Chains of things. We've talked about them dozens of times. <laughs> yeah. I just don't think we've ever defined what they are. Really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Polymers are chains of things. Chains oh, of monomers, reliable. yeah. Can you name some polymers that we've dealt with in the past? Uh, nylon? Yeah. Squid. Why is that a why is that a joke? It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's an answer to your question. You think squids are polymers? Yeah, probably. They're made out of long things, yes. Not all single celled organisms, are they? <laughs> Uh, ethane? Methane? Are those polymers? Yeah. Why? They're long. They're not long, though, are they? <laughs> They're not just one, not molecules, though, are they? They are molecules. Oh. And also, methane is only one carbon long. Okay. Pentane? Uh, still not... Re- it's a hydrocarbon, it's not really a polymer. Why not? Because it doesn't really have a repeating unit. Has it got to have a repeating unit? DNA is one. <laughs> okay, Proteins DNA. are another. DNA and proteins are examples are they, of They're polymers. polymers, yeah. Okay. Talked about okay. them dozens of times, yeah. Not today, though. No, not today, no. Not today, though, no. No, your object permanence of concepts is... <laughs> Anchorage! Hmm... Um, so there's a few more things that we need to know, Laura. Mm-hmm. Um, before we finish with the section here, we're finished with 5.7. We're currently doing 5.7.1.4, cracking mm-hmm. and alkenes. And after this, we move on to 5.8. Whoa! Yeah, so we do need to bang through a bit of this. So you might be wondering, Laura, if you had a bucket of hydrocarbons, how you, you 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 might say to me, Ron? How would I know if there's any alkenes in these buckets? Yeah. Now to to work this out, we have to take advantage of a property difference between the alkenes and the alkanes. So the one with the double bond was an alkene. Yeah, because okay. it's got like it's got it's got two e's in it. 
like a double bond. Because it's double E. What? Shut up. Okay, so I've got a bucket of hydrocarbons. Yeah, and you're probably thinking, how can I tell whether there's alkenes in there if it's just alkanes? That's all I want to know right now. So we d- Am I going to get salmonella? We take advantage of, of a property difference between the two. Which one of those two do you think is going to be more reactive? Alkanes. Why? Because the double bond will be harder to break and everything in an alkane is a single bond. It's actually completely wrong. It's the alkene because the... For God's sake. <laughs> Why? That doesn't make any logical sense. Well, the, the carbon doesn't really want to be forming the double bond, so that double can split into a single, and then it has one free arm to grab something else. Oh, Christ on a bike. That doesn't... That's just... That's illogical of science. No, it's not really, because... This pen is broken. It's the first death of a gel pen! There's so much ink left in it. No, but it's actually not. Look, I'm going to show you. Can you see? Yeah. The, you, it's not actually inky. You can see the darker bit of ink right up the top, and then it's pale. OK. You're not even looking. Oh, I don't care. Ron... See, there's some ink there, and then look, that's all empty. Okay. That's a significant moment, the death of the first gel pen. Is it? Isn't it? No. (laughs) (laughs) Not to me. Well, then we're in this podcast for very different reasons, mate. I I never bonded with the gel pens. (laughs) You should have got your own gel pens, and then I think you'd feel a lot more chirpy about it. But I don't write anything down on paper. You should. Well, you could use them to write down the answers that you're asking me to work out so that you can check them against my answers. I don't have any paper on my desk. Why? Why would I have paper? For making notes. Why why would I use paper for that? Because it's rude to type when you're talking to someone. Not if they can't tell. We can always tell when you're typing. That's not true. I am that is so true. good at typing. No, you're not. You are you type all the time and I just have to edit it out. Bullshit. Fine, I'll start leaving it in. You don't even... And the listeners... You don't even know how much I'm typing. You type all the fucking time. You, more, I type more than that. <laughs> I just don't even know. Usually, actually, though, when I'm typing, I am signing back into my laptop because we've we've had to drag you so long through a hedge of knowledge that <laughs> my laptop has locked itself. Well, I can't help that. So, Laura... The al- I never put the lock thing back on my laptop after you took it off months ago. If I lose it, now I'm fucked. <laughs> I can't change mine because it's a company laptop, so for InfoSec reasons, it's a very short timer. Um, now, Laura, as we were just discussing, alkenes are much Information security. Fun. Alkenes are much more reactive than alkanes because that mm. double bond splits and one of them goes to grab something else. So I know what you're thinking. I want to know if there's double bonds or there's alkenes in this bucket of hydrocarbons. Mm. And I also know the thing about you, Laura, is that you have an excess of bromine water hanging around in your house. <laughs> yeah. Now, these two... If you want a guy that's masculine and nasty, come to my house. Now, the lucky thing is... Run! I didn't get it. Bromine! Oh... I got the bro bit. I did not get look, the look, mean. Look, look, um, uh, Have a more bromine water. That's what I call Carlsberg. So bromine is obviously chlorine's big brother. Oh, God. This is like, it was all going really well. And now I just... You should know, know what about. bromine is. We've discussed it dozens of times. Yeah, well, who cares, though? Bromine water. Yep, yeah, got bromine. Bromine is chlorine's big brother. It... Forms water that is a stanky brown colour. Stanky brown. Stanky. Stanky brown. Stanky brown sounds like Rusty Sugar's best friend. Oh, I've got to write all of that. 
I thought you were writing it last week. No. You've only got two days, Ron. Yeah, maybe... We... Midday on Thursday we record. Maybe we won't do that as an episode. We have to. I don't... You promised. But, yeah, but Rusty Sugar was a one-off bit in an episode that was <laughs> ages ago. I don't think any yeah. of the fans care for it. I think the staleness of the promises by the time they come to fruition is one of the qualities of the show. But there's been no, there was nothing stale about the Eggathon. The eggs. I can't they wait till stale. I can't wait till Eggathon 2024. <laughs> I'm going to boil my eggs so much softer. I might boil your eggs. We could we should do it in person. Yeah. And I'll do all the egg boiling. Okay, I'm in. Um. Right, stanky bound bromine water. Stanky bound. <laughs> <laughs> Stanky bound bromine butter. Um, it's brown. Um, you, you mix it. If there's alkenes, yeah. the double bond breaks and it grabs onto that bromine and it says, hey, buddy, come join our chain. Keep us together. Now that there's no bromine in the bromine water anymore, mm. the brown goes away. It goes clear. Whoa. Yeah. So how could you tell if there were alkenes in a bucket of alkanes, Laura? Put bromine water in. Does it go clear? There's alkenes. Great stuff. My dinner's ready. Mm, it says you should be able to balance chemical equations in I cracking. Can. Yeah, you'd be happy doing that? Probs. Uh, Let's find out in the quiz. <laughs> then um, if you're happy with that, then we're done. Woohoo! Mashed potato time! I'm having mashed potato for my dinner. I got that. Okay. Bye, Ron. Bye. What should we do for our 100 episode? Um, let's record it on a trampoline. Should we not try and get another high-profile guest? No, oh, we could. We did that for the year anniversary, though, and you said that we weren't allowed to do numerical anniversaries and chronological anniversaries. All right, so we'll do it for the two-year anniversary, then. Yeah. We will get Professor Epidemius Einstein. Right, so I'm not allowed to eat with my microphone off, but you're allowed to do arts and crafts mid episode. <laughs> I got to send a parcel on Vinted, mate. Is that, that's worse. That's just admin. <laughs> yeah. Well, come on, quiz me, bitches. Let's crack some alkenes. I'm keen. To crack some cracking alkanes. I've um next time we're just hanging out somewhere, Laura, and want to watch TV. Remind me that I need to get you to watch Nathan for you. Oh, okay. It's a show I've been watching, and I think you'd absolutely love it. Would I giggle? If I, I think it appears. It, it's that very like, you know how. Tom watched the Scott's Tots episode of The Office and couldn't handle it. But yeah. you and I think that's hilarious. It's yeah. that kind of, like, disgustingly uncomfortable humour. Uh, okay. Like, he, he, it's kind of, um, it's like Sasha Baron Cohen-esque. Um, oh. in, like, as in, like, he, like, interacts with real people, but he's not... Well, he's only playing a character called Nathan Fielder, like the the comedian that does it. So it's yeah. not like he's. What are you fiddling my PlayStation. with? PlayStation. Can you stop? Yeah, stop now, don't you worry. Because um, everything that you tap a tap on the table comes through your microphone. Um, That's better. Right? Yeah, he like he's not doing any sort of offensive <laughs> characters, but he does like speak to the mem- members of public. Um, and it's yeah. so funny. He like the the main bulk of the series is him helping out small businesses, and like he like just pitches them crazy schemes, and then does loads of legwork to make it work. Um, so like there's one where like he goes to a haunted house, and then he's like, "We're gonna make this the scariest haunted house ever." So someone comes in, and then they convince them that they've contracted a deadly disease, and like they get an ambulance to drive them to hospital and stuff. Oh God! Um, yeah, Tom would hate that. Well, there's another one where, um, uh, like, they it's like a souvenir shop in LA. So 
um, they trick people into coming in and buying stuff by pretending that it's a movie set <laughs> and that they're, they're extras in a movie that are buying things. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. You'd really like it. Yeah. I always really admire people that can do prank stuff like that. My heart would be like beating in my teeth. You know, like in Practical Jokers and stuff, that's my nightmare to have to interact with the public like that. Yeah, like, it's honestly crazy how he does it. Like, he just has this, like, knack for, A, finding really weird people, um, <laughs> and B, just kind of letting them feel comfortable enough to show him how weird they are. Yeah. yeah it's it's really great television. What's it on? Amazon Prime. Oh, all right, I can watch that. Yeah. And then he well, he's last year he did a new series called The Rehearsal, which I'm just rewatching at this point. Um, and the premise of that is like he gets a guy who has a regret, and then simul allow like creates this simulation in real life where he, this guy can just practice like um, undoing that regret over and over again until like the social interaction goes perfectly. So he like hires actors and stuff to pretend to be the people that this guy's hanging around with and then like makes a huge flow chart of all of the outcomes and then like they rehearse it. Oh, it's honestly insane. I think he might be a crazy person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luckily, there's TV, though, so he doesn't have to go to prison. Yeah. Um, lovely. Right. Laura, what are the two types of cracking? Steam and catalytic. Yep. That's two yes. marks. Ding, ding. Um, boo, boo. Bing, what? bing. Are you going to put the bings in? No, probably not. Oh. oh, surprised myself there. did put the dings in. You can, if you want. It's your episode. Yeah, but I don't put sound effects in. It's a shame. I just edited one where I went very overboard. <laughs> exactly, so I need to counteract <laughs> that nonsense. What you, the... But the dings, they're not, like, shot oh, Sometimes I put them in. We're doing a Ron's Thought this episode, or is that... That, that happens in the intros, outros. It doesn't, though, does it? It hasn't happened for months. Has... No, because I dropped it. <laughs> Okay. It wasn't how's, getting, the, how's the uh, wasn't official the, tweet for each episode going? Is that dropped it? Yeah. Okay. Was cool. it, if I don't get the groundswell of support for something that I think it deserves, I'll drop it. I think it, they both things were popular. In fact, one of them was asked for. I don't know what more of a groundswell of support you can have than that. Look, it's over. Get over it. Okay. All right. Moving on. Oh, um, no, a wasp has come in. It's gone again. What are the products of catalytic cracking for? I think your chair is getting noisier by the day. That's not my chair. Why is that then? I'm ticking around with a pen again. <laughs> um, uh, catalytic cracking. Oh, fuels. Good fuels. Yep. And steam cracking. Uh, makes lots of smaller alkanes. No, but what are they for? Uh, polymers? Yes. What's an alkene, Laura? Alkene is where the there's a double bond in what would have been an alkane, but it's broken a bit, and there's odd number of hydrogens, so you get a double carbon bond. Very nice. And finally, for... 57 points. Three marks. Mm -hmm. Please describe how we test for alkenes and why the oh, test works. Oh, yeah! You get the brown water, the skanky brown. What was it called? Stanky bucket. Uh, bromine water brother mine brother mine holy water holy water and then uh you you put that on the alkanes and then if there's alkenes it'll go clear because they suck up the bromines how and why uh the bromine joins onto the alkenes maybe i don't know why uh 
because the carbon doesn't want to have a double bond. It would prefer to bond somewhere else. Which makes it more... Reactive. Yes, there we go. Three marks, yes. Laura. Absolutely smashed it, Rockefeller. Rockefeller. <laughs> that was <laughs> weird, wasn't said it? That. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Smashing, well, that's the quiz then, eh? Oh, what a beautiful day. Yeah. Thanks, no. Ron. No worries, I'll see you in the outro. Bye. Well, there we go. You had an episode. We had a brief interlude of screaming from Charles the podcast. Mm. Um, I walked past the lounge and a woman was saying we've never had it valued, so I guess they've never had it valued. No, no, but um, thank God they can now on that yeah. stately lawn. Yeah, I wonder where they are today. Oh, there's someone there like Hedges and Feebrew was all like... Feebrew? Mm. Fiona Bruce. Uh. <laughs> she was all like, <laughs> these hedges are 14 metres tall. 14 metres is high. That's, I'm not even exaggerating, that's what she said. Today? Yeah. Where are they that's got 14 metre hedges? Are you serious? Ask Febru. I don't know. I'm going to Google this. Glu- Google, Where has Google 14 metre hedges? cloud hedges yew, as in what? like the yew tree. Powis Castle? I don't know. You didn't Google what I told you to. What did you want to do? Cloud hedges yew. Yeah. 14 metres. Right. This is worst results. I think it's Powis Castle in Wales. There you go. It came right up. Yeah, but it came up when I googled what I wanted to Google. No, National Trust, you can't have my cookies. No, no. <laughs> Same place. Powers Castle. I think there must be. A... That is high, man. Look at that guy just strimming a hedge. Google Powers Castle. The towering yew tumps and miles of box hedges are a famous hot site at Powers Castle. From extreme gardening to a history of hedge trimming, learn more about our work keeping this beautiful landscape in shape. Landscape. Tumps. Tumps is a good word, isn't it? Yew tumps. Um, it takes one gardener about ten weeks on a hydraulic cherry picker to get it all done. Get another fucking gardener, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just cut them down. What is the point? Um, anyway, so there we go. That's what's happening in the Antiques Roadshow tonight. Did you watch it? Maybe you watched the Tumps. Maybe you did. <laughs> did you? Let us know. Let us know, man. At Left Education on socials. Um, oh, my God. That episode... I'm so happy I remembered Anchorage. And just for the record, in case anyone's wondering, oldest sister of the podcast did text me later and did guess it right. Oh, in one, yeah. Yeah. No fanny in it. From just the clues that I gave her at the point where I said I was texting. So I think we can all applaud oldest sister of the podcast. Did anybody listening guess what it was? Clap, 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 clap. You went for lunch with her today? Yeah, much to your chagrin. I didn't say a fucking word about it. Today you did. Mum did. Yesterday you were. Yesterday you were sour. I didn't say a word yesterday. Mum was cross, and Mum told Sarah to tell her off about it. I didn't say anything. Your face said a thousand words. Mm, Didn't. And you did say stuff. I didn't say. I said stuff last time you went for brunch with her. Didn't say anything about this one. Um, if you're listening, and uh, <laughs> I'm just if you're listening, <laughs> if you're listening and you agree that I should be on QI, let the QI people know. Don't let us know because fuck it, we already know. Don't tag me in telling me I'd be great. It tell them loudly. Um, also, please join the Patreon to help me fund my insane advent calendar habit. <laughs> Ron, only two weeks until I can open it. Less than that now. Shall I text you every morning and with a photo of what's in it? Sure. And the market value of what that is, so we can see if I made my two hundred and sixty pounds back. You won't have that. I, I will have one. No, you won't. Yeah, because I reckon half of what they put in there, they get given for free. Why? Because it's advertising for the people and their brands. Oh, I thought it was one brand. No. No. Okay. Bad. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. 
if anyone wants to come to the funeral for Jalpan, let me know. Ron wants to do the register. I think Ron's done. Time for the register. Run, dun, 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 dun. Thank you, Andrew Blackburn, who is crod hype. <laughs> Whatever or whoever that might be, perhaps some sort of German feeling of merriment at the weather, or perhaps it's the old English word for the hair on the back of a horse's fetlock. It's open to interpretation. And thank you, Oregon. Or, That's a cue. Or a kin. Or a quin. Cordle. <laughs> or a quin. Our mum pronounces quirdle, cordle, and it makes my teeth vibrate <laughs> with annoyance. Or a quin. Or a quin is monglong. Sorry for saying this. Probably would be able to get away with that these days. With all these woke motherfuckers around kicking free speech in the pussy. Can't say anything or do Christmas ever now. Everyone has to be miserable and eat lentils now, idiots. Stop the boats. And finally, thank you to Charles Parry. World's leading bayou geographer, chiefly in charge of knowing what they are. <laughs> I love that you you <laughs> you said by you, but you've written by you like the tapestry. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I thought that's how you wrote by you. <laughs> no, I think by you is like B A Y O U. I know jack shit about by you. You know nothing. Why would you set your story somewhere you don't even know what it is? Next story you write needs to be on a prairie. Yeah, but yours was all about science. You don't know anything about that. Mine was all about police detectives. Yeah, and Seth Rogen. <laughs> anyway, that's we're talking about the Rusty Sugar episode on the Patreon. Which you need to listen to because some people have described it as excellent and others as a fever dream. What the hell did I just listen to? Mike listened to it twice in a day. You, Mike. 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 Yes. Lovely Mike. Some people listened to it and then went and watched it so that they could watch Ron eat all of the sweet and sour. <laughs> <laughs> I how I just it. think if you're still listening to this podcast at this bit, you're like rinsing every little bit of Lex education off the spoon. Just spend three pounds a month on the Patreon, you dweeb. Mm. You'll get two extra episodes. Yeah, and we only need like some more, and then we'll, it'll be four extra episodes. Yeah, probably like, like another hundred and forty-four. Yeah, people. something like that. I don't even know. I reckon that's probably where we'll shoot, right? I don't know, Ron. I, I want to be really rich. <laughs> yeah, well, we should have fucking charged more for it, but we're basically giving it away. Yeah, we are. Because ba- after Patreon's cut, I you, think we both get £1.20 each off each person. You can't buy jack shit. Like, guys, honestly, our Patreon costs about as much as a bag of lime and coriander sensations poppadoms. They are really good. They are really good. <laughs> <laughs> if you can afford two of those a month... <laughs> Put one of them down, (laughs) buy one, and then buy us. Yeah, we're such nice people, and we're really down on our luck. You can't pull that off in the same episode that you (laughs) are talking about your advent calendar. we're financially comfortable, but self-esteem low, okay? And you can convert easy dollars into our self-esteem. We're financially comfortable. We wouldn't expect you to sign up if you weren't. And we spend a lot of fucking time on this. Loads of time. Why are we... Let's end this episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is our most yeah. glowing Becky <laughs> ad yet. <laughs> Class dismissed. <laughs> Can we test, test, test? Can we test it to and fro? Can we test, test, test? Can we test the microphone?